Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss on types of regression testing. There are five important types of regression testing. I am going to discuss one by one regression testing types. Let me go by one by one regression testing types. The first regression testing type is the component or unit level so this kind of regression testing when this kind of regression testing will be done at the component level when the developer writing the components that is when the regression testing will be done just to ensure that the component level regression test doesn't fail because the components will interact with each other with another component. Component level unit testing will be done when we are in the component level or unit level that is when this kind of regression testing will be done. The second type of regression type is partial regression. The partial regression is nothing but when the new functionality has been getting added into the product there is a small major there is a small minor changes which has been done to the existing code. It is when we do partial regression testing. Let's move on to the next type of testing here is complete regression testing. The complete regression testing will be done when there is a major changes to the product or an application. That is the time we are going to run the complete regression testing when there is a complete facelift when there is a complete facelift especially onto the technological pa technology part let's say there is a complete technology has been uh, migrated or we have adopted a new technology that is the time we should validate completely the run all our regression testing just to ensure that all the existing functionality should not break because I, we are changing the technology. Let's say we are using uh, certain technology for UI when suddenly we are going to change to the new technology. Let's say we have moved to the latest UI technology HTML5 technology. Then we will have to see whatever the UI functionality which was working earlier it doesn't break. So that is how we are going to validate complete regression then let's move on to understand incremental or progressive regression test. This is another regression testing type where there is a changes to the existing code plus we are adding a new code as well. That is the time we'll be adding the new regression cases as well and we'll be running both existing plus new regression test cases just to ensure that nothing is getting br breaking here. So that is how the incremental or progressive regression testing will be performed. The, then the last and the final one is selective regression testing. Selective regression testing will be done when there is a huge impact onto the certain functionality, not across all the functionality. There are few selected functionalities getting uh, impacted when the developer fixes the code. That is when we will be working with the development team to assess where the code has been fixed and also we observe which are the surrounded areas it requires some testing. That is when we perform the selective regression testing just to ensure that we are not going to run complete full regression testing but we will be selecting uh, the impacted areas or business critical functions to run those tests just to ensure that no core functionality will get broke and nothing happens to the already working items which is already with the client side. So these are the five important uh, regression types will be used when we are running the regression testing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time then please subscribe and click on bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.